and happy Friday to you all. I can proudly say that because I know for sure that this will be up on Friday. So I hope you guys had a really great week. Um, I mentioned and posted in Facebook. I've been tweeting about it. I'm doing an April no buy. And if you're not familiar with that, that's pretty much where you choose to purchase either like nothing at all throughout the whole month or it can just be for makeup. And I'm just doing makeup because I'm not sure how I'm going to survive, but I've never done a no buy before, so this is my first time doing it. I thought it would be a lot of fun. I did make a list of all the rules for myself, and uh, yeah. So rule number one, of course, is I can't purchase any makeup at all. So rule number two is my only exception, well I actually have two exceptions. If I run out of a makeup product that is a must have or a holy grail product, uh, I don't think I will need to, but if I happen to, I am allowing myself to just purchase that one item. And then the second exception is Kat Von D is supposedly coming out with some new makeup palettes and I've always wanted to try her makeup line and for my birthday I did get some Sephora gift cards so I'm kind of holding on to those and deciding on what I want to purchase so uh, I might allow myself to get one of those palettes or maybe both of them. I'm not sure yet because I don't know what they look like but if they do happen to come out in April that is the only makeup purchase I'm allowing myself to make. Rule number three, not watching any makeup hauls, like whatsoever, no makeup haul videos. Um, I do notice when I watch other people's hauls, I end up getting so excited and I see something, I'm like, oh, I want to purchase that. I write it down on a piece of paper and then I go to the store the next day or right away and I go out and purchase it and then I come home like, oh my god. What did I just do? Uh -huh. For that reason, I am going to try my best to not watch any hauls. Rule number four, the makeup no buy does not include nail polish, hair products, um, skin care, or clothes, or jewelry. And then the last rule is just to enjoy and have fun with this. This is not like me being mean to myself or punishing myself. I just want to really stop take a look at what I have, enjoy the products I have, and also after the no buy is over, I want to be more conscious of my purchases and not just buy something just because it's something new. You know, I want to have a purpose of purchasing that item. Am I going to do a review on it? Am I going to do a demo? You know, I want there to be a reason behind purchasing it besides like, ooh, it's something new, it's pretty. I want to have it now. You know what I mean. So those are my rules for my no buy and definitely you could change it up, you can do it however you want to, customize it to fit um, your needs and your own personal way of doing it. You don't have to do it my way but I would love it if you guys would do this no buy with me. Uh, definitely leave a comment down below and on Twitter, follow me on Twitter at Digester, D, capital D-A-J-E-S-S-T-E-R. And follow me on Twitter because I'm going to be tweeting every single day, like day one, day two, day three. So I've already been going through a whole week. Elf was having a sale, like half off their whole site, and I passed on it. I was a good girl. I was very proud of myself because you all know I love Elf. A few things of why I wanted to do this. Saving money. I think that's a really important thing. I definitely want to save up my money. <laughs> and I really need clothes. I want to start saving up my money towards clothes for summer and I really can't remember the last time I treated myself to like a new pair of shoes or uh, you know just new clothes. I need clothes so so bad so that's something I really would like to work on. Another reason I want to do this is to use up these products that I do have and own and a lot of times I'm trying so many different products constantly and doing reviews that I forget about things that I love and I want to rediscover a lot of things in my makeup collection and not forget about them. I don't want to be wasteful. And then the final thing is I really thought it would be fun and a really great encouragement for you guys to do the same thing as well. I know I do a lot of hauls on here and I don't always want to promote buying. Like consumerism is really big here on YouTube and I understand, you know, there's new products out and I get excited too. But I really wanted to just take a break from that and just focus on the things that I do have. And maybe I could do like products I want to use up or 
I don't know, like a weekly makeup basket or some type of thing. If you guys have any requests for videos, definitely leave them down below. And definitely do this makeup no buy. I promise you, you'll feel so much better after you do it. And hopefully I will feel much better. I already feel much better about it. So um, it's a good positive thing. And also throughout the whole month of April, I've been telling you guys that I'm doing uh, spring cleaning videos. I'm editing like crazy. I have a couple of them already finished so um those will be going up probably right after this video probably next tuesday i'll have a decluttering video up for you guys i went through my closet my jewelry um my nail polishes my makeup just going through things getting rid of old makeup i know it's hard to watch but i actually like watching these types of videos and it inspired me to do another spring cleaning video. I did one last year. You guys seem to really like it. So this time I'm like going crazy. And my new motto is if I really don't love it, don't keep it. I might keep it to do in a video or something, but I'm done keeping things just to keep them. Alright you guys, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to fill you in on some of the things that I'm doing for the month of April with my makeup no buy and with some spring cleaning decluttering videos coming your way. I hope you will enjoy it. Uh, something new and different on my channel and I'm really really excited about it. So definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and if you want to do this makeup no buy with me, leave a comment down below. Definitely let me know if you're doing it and we can be each other's support buddies. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have a really great weekend, you guys. New video will be up on Tuesday. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel. It's free. I upload on every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes on a Sunday. I will see you all in my next video. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye, guys.